Hey, Miss Nosebleed here, your English teacher. Hmm, what can we learn today? Today, we're going to talk about the present simple tense. Let's have a quick review. So when do we use present simple? We use present simple when we talk about events or situations that exist always, usually, and habitually. We also talk about present simple when we talk about things that exist now or have existed in the past and probably will exist in the future. In other words, we are talking about facts, habits, and recurring actions or situations. Okay? Okay, to illustrate, here's a diagram. And I like using this with my students because um, it makes things a lot easier to understand. So we have the past, right? And we have now, and we have the future. So as you can see, we have the X's there, and it symbolizes um, recurring or repetitive actions or things or events that existed in the past and exist now and will probably exist in the future. And when we talk about the, these things, they're usually facts or, you know, like regular habits. So that's when we use present simple. Okay, so let's look at different sentences that show present simple. Here are some examples. It rains in the Philippines, right? It regularly rains. Um, Joey goes to work every day. That's an everyday thing he does, so we use the present simple. Joey goes to work every day. And then they walk their dog three times a week. So it's a regular thing that they do three times a week. So you also use the present simple. So as you can see, the rule is to use the subject and the verb. And the verb, um, just make sure that when you use he or she or it, um, you add uh, S or ES. As you can see here, Joey goes, that's the ES there, right? It rains. Okay, so just make sure, don't, don't say Joey go. No, you need, an, you need to put an S or an ES there in the present simple. All right, okay, cool. Now let's move to uh, making sure that we understand, okay? Okay, so let's help correct the following sentences, all right? Number one, my sister usually watch TV at night. What's wrong with the sentence? That's right. It should be watches because my sister, the subject is one person as a singular noun. So you have the verb plus S or ES depending on a verb. Good. Number two, I drives my car every morning. What do you think? Right. It should be drive. I know I is one person, but in English grammar, I and you would require a verb, the root verb with no S or ES when you're using it in the present simple, okay? So I drive, you drive, okay? Number three, we always locks the door before we leave the house. What's wrong with the sentence? Very good, it should be lock because the subject is we. Okay, good. Now number four, every morning the sun shine in my bedroom window. What's wrong with the sentence? Good, it should be shines. Why? Because the noun is sun. Okay, the subject is sun and it's singular, so you need a verb with S or ES. Okay, perfect. Now let's practice asking present simple questions. Okay, let's do this together. Remember, you're going to use do or does. Okay? Ready? Number one, we have a math test today. How do we ask that question? Right. Do we have a math test today? Good. Number two, your friends work in Manila. How do you make that as a question? Very good. Do your friends work in Manila? 
Number three, you play basketball every week. How do we correct this? All right, good. Do you play basketball every week? And finally, Susan like mango juice. How do we ask this question? Very good. Does Susan like mango juice? All right, very good. Now let's practice conversation questions. Answer the following questions. Number one, what is your morning routine? What is your morning routine? An example of an answer would be, I usually cook eggs in the morning. So that's how you respond, okay? Number two, what does your brother or sister do in his or her free time? So think about it. An example answer would be, he plays video games, I think. Or my sister usually plays volleyball in her free time. All right. Okay. Next, number three. Tell me one fact about Filipinos. And here's an example answer. Filipinos like to sing. So as you can see here, we have used uh, the present simple. Okay, so we have cook, okay, oh sorry, I, <laughs> you can't see it. Okay, cook, and you have plays, and you have like. So that's how you use the present simple in a conversation. All right? Okay, very good. That's it, short and sweet. You know what to do. Got any questions? I'll see what I can do. See you next time.